Hello and welcome to Spaceship Tours. Today we have a look at the Comet, the spaceship of Captain Future. Captain Future is based on a number of novels written by Edmund Hamilton between 1940 and 1944. Hamilton tried to merge the genres of superheroes and space opera, which both were very popular at the time. Later on in 1978, a 52-episode anime TV series was loosely based on his books, and the ship here shown here is based on this TV show. The hero of the story, Curtis Newton, aka Captain Future, and his crew work to support the interstellar police in cases the police struggles with. The ship is shown here in a configuration based on a comic series released in Germany, which was itself loosely based on the anime TV show. <clears throat> Due to limitations of the game engine, certain movable parts are not included here. For example, these ear-like flaps on the main forward sphere are not movable, and the four big pillar-like wings with the, the engines could uh, in the show actually rotate and when rotating would produce sort of a comet effect which gave the, the ship its name. So the forward sphere is about 60 meters in diameter and the aft sphere about 35 meters. We have a quick look from the outside on the command center, the bridge. We're here behind these windows, but we will enter through one of the airlocks. There are several entrances to the ship, one back here. Where we start at the top most level of the main sphere, which has some like, cargo containers and uh, like a healing device and, and um, oxygen tanks. And here's the, the main shaft or the main elevator of the, uh, of the central sphere. Here we enter an additional hangar which is not on the original ship, just included here by myself at the back of the main sphere to have quicker access uh, to the command center. Uh, and not have to go through all from the rear sphere all the way through the central part of the ship. Here's deck 6 with crew quarters. All relatively spacey. The ship only would have a complement of three or three people basically or Captain Future himself. A robot called Greg, an android called Otto, and uh, basically a brain of a scientist preserved in a, in a floating um, kind of robot. Also included here is a medical bay. It's like uh, devices for cure people from different illnesses. The next level 5 has a command and control center here, where you could steer the ship. As you can see, you can fly around. <clears throat> also on this deck is a mess hall. Grab a bite. Also, with a healing device and some cargo containers, and back here is a uh, fridges and a fruit processor. Or you can watch a bit of TV. Here's the access to the rear section, and over here is the constructor and the laboratories. So here's a lot of uh, cargo spaces to store stuff you can use in the constructors to build other things. 
the laboratories over here are used to research certain things discovered on, on, on the journeys. Because usually brute force wasn't the uh, main <coughs> driver to, to solve the cases, but uh, science and, uh, and wit were mainly used. Over here some like emergency quarters for refugees for example. But these are all things I've included uh, which are not in the original ship. There's another mess hall over here. In deck 4 we have the armory, two cargo holds, and one engineering deck with the uh, power generators in here. They have more power rager throughout the ship as uh, auxiliary units or in case these are damaged. That's another uh, here's life support, some fuel tanks, and another, another engineering with great gravity generators. Down on deck 2 we have some greenhouses to grow food. And over here also some fridges and food processors. And down here is the lowest level of the main sphere, deck 1, with again more cargo space, oxygen tanks and a healing device and uh, another exit here through the water. Before we exit the ship again, I want to explore the rear section. Have to go to back to deck five to do that. Here starts the long main shaft of the ship. Around here, some fuel tanks, and here's just here some auxiliary power devices, and just some kind of storage. Here's kind of a holding cell area, and here's some like extra sensor arrays. Here's just some capacitors, some like, dummy decoration, engineering elements. Here's some like cryogenic units to uh, transport people in like a uh, kind of stasis. For long journeys or if they are too severely injured to cure them on board. See also with some medical equipment and uh, a monitoring area for the cryogenic devices. Here are just some uh, decoration items. And here we enter the back sphere. The back sphere houses several important things. One is here the jump engine with two additional auxiliary power units. And it also the rear is the actual main hangar. Some more storage area. Gravity generators for the aft part of the ship and also the cosmo radars, like a, um, the 
surveillance device. Some like engineering parts up here. From back here we can exit the ship again. And this is my short review of the comet.